elect today, which once again gives us a great example of his desire to run away from what's true. He says, James Clapper called me yesterday to denounce the false and fictitious report that was illegally circulated. James Clapper never said in the statement that was issued publicly that the intel is believed to be false or fictitious. He says they haven't made any determination on it yet. This is running away from the truth. What is the media to do? Trump's aides are misleading people about this at every turn. There's just no way around that. And in some ways, they'd rather talk about us. They'd rather talk about the media. They'd rather decry CNN and BuzzFeed and all the other outlets that are trying to work on this story, some in very different ways than CNN. They'd almost rather talk about the media than about the, the facts on the ground. We talk a lot about media distrust in this country, low levels of trust in media, the polls have shown it for years. I think we should also note, though, how many viewers want us, want the press to be challenging power, whether it's Bush, Obama, Trump, and whoever comes after Trump. My inbox is stuffed with people thanking you, Jim, for standing there yesterday and thanking this network for its reporting about Trump and Russia and thanking the press and practically begging for more of it. So, so yes, there's a portion of the country that distrusts the media. Let's not lose sight of the majority of the public that I think really wants and there are a lot needs of folks this out, help right now. And there are a lot of folks out there who, who thought we didn't do enough during the campaign. Sure. We weren't tough enough on Donald Trump, that we gave him too much airtime uh, at the beginning of the campaign. My hope is, is that Donald Trump can get past this, uh, you know, Clinton News Network, CNN sucks mentality that we saw out on the campaign trail. The campaign is over. It's time to be president of the United States. And that's the key point. The environment right now is so far from normal. We're so far from the norms of respect when it comes to the president or the president-elect talking, at least saying the right things about respecting the First Amendment. Trump is still acting like he's campaigning. I think this is what undergirds all of this. Even his tweet this morning, uh, question, you know, misstating the facts about Clapper. He is continuing to talk mainly to the people that voted for him and not to the 54% of the country that did not vote for him.